Since its first release in 2013, Dragon Ball Super has proven to be an amazing addition to the world created by the late Akira Toriyama. The series has greatly expanded the world of this beloved franchise, introducing various allies and enemies for Goku and his friends. And one of the most iconic supervillains is the planet-eating tyrant known as Moro. Indeed. <sighs> Damn it! It's one thing after the other with this guy! The battle against this villain, considered one of the best by many fans, was filled with references and tributes to early events and techniques. Among these tributes, a specific moment stands out, in which Goku combines his signature Kamehameha with his instant transmission, a combo that was first seen during the Cell Saga. Chapter 62 of the Dragon Ball Super manga shows the Z-Warriors desperately fighting against a four-power Moro who seems to be several times stronger than any of them. After Vegeta is swiftly defeated by the cruel alien, Gohan and Piccolo join forces to distract him for just a few seconds. Despite the grave damage they receive from Moro's attacks, both fighters manage to restrain the monstrous being. Once their opponent was incapable of escaping, Piccolo screamed at Goku to release the Kamehameha he had been charging during their brief encounter. In a stunning few pages, Kakarot can be seen prepared to defeat Moro with his iconic technique. While Goku begins his attack from the back, with his enemy looking over his shoulder, once Piccolo gave the signal, the hero utilises his instant transmission to swiftly move in front of his adversary. The manga panels depicting this moment are almost identical to the ones drawn by Toriyama during the Cell Saga. It was during this treasured arc of the original series that the instant Kamehameha was first introduced. <laughs> During his fight against Cell, Kakarot used this same move to try and win their battle as quickly as possible. By distracting the android and making him believe that he would attack from afar, Goku was able to deal a great amount of damage by firing his signature technique point blank. The battle against Moro had an almost identical occurrence, with many of Kakarot's poses being extremely similar. Even the results of these desperate attempts at victory were anagalous, as both villains were able to survive without any lasting damage thanks to their regenerative powers. Besides Goku's amazing instant Kamehameha against the Ark's villain, the Moro saga of Dragon Ball Super seems to have been a direct tribute to the battle with Cell. A plethora of details between these two events are outstandingly similar. For example, the main antagonist in these two arcs look like human-animal hybrids who need to absorb life energy to become stronger. Moro and Cell were desperately trying to obtain specific items that would help them become several times more powerful than the form they were introduced in. You got greedy, Martin. Once their initial goals were achieved, their enormous egos led both villains to give their enemies time to train and get stronger, thinking they could be an even better challenge. Yet, the villains are not the only characters who act in similar ways, as even Goku's actions during the Moro Saga mirror his behaviour before and after the Cell games. In both battles, Kakarot wrongly thought it was appropriate to give his opponent a Senzu Bean to help them recover. Goku was also the first warrior to face Moro and Cell once their preparation time was over. While these similarities can be seen as Super trying to copy its predecessor, this could not be further from the truth. The Moro arc is a loving tribute to all the previous encounters Goku and his friends had during the original manga series. This saga brought the best franchise had to offer and utilised it to give fans an exciting and memorable Dragon Ball battle against a near unbeatable adversary. Moro's battle against the Z-Warriors is a love letter to the fans working as a reminder of all the amazing elements that have helped Toriyama's work inspire fans for decades. Undoubtedly, Dragon Ball Super has become an iconic part of one of the world's most beloved franchises. The battles, characters and locations introduced in this esteemed manga will continue to bring joy and excitement to new and old fans of Goku, Vegeta and their companions. I have no idea how you're still married, but in any case, Kakarot, I am staying here!